Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another uh, Android blog post. I just want to, uh, today I want to talk about the difference between relative and linear layouts. Um, if we go back to our application that we've been working on, um, I'll show you what we, what, what uh, Android made for us. It automatically put a relative layout in here. Uh, and what that means is that the objects inside inside this box, inside the view, this activity, arrange themselves relative to where they sit. So I added this new guy right here and I dragged it down the middle. And if we look at the code that was brought in there, it says, look, um, first and foremost, we'll address so it says 10 DP. Now 10 DP, I'm not sure exactly what the DP means. But it's saying it's 10 dp units of space from the from the bottom layout margin bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank this up to 100. Where four is right near the bottom. Let's see. Oh, it moved up again. And you can keep on doing this. We'll, we'll put, make this 300, and it moves all the way up here. So you see how that works. So there it is. Uh, so okay. So that's one way of aligning itself vertically. Now, if we want to talk about horizontally, okay, this thing was in the middle. So let's go back here. We'll change this to false, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so it, it went back over to the left margin. So we want to keep it true. We'll just leave it that way. But the other uh, layout is called linear layout. Now what this means is that instead of defining where the objects are in relation to the sides of this or to each other, what it what it means is that it uh, it, it, it its default is to stack things one on top of each other. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this okay. So it's vertical. It's vertical. It's vertical orientation. So I'm going to bring another object in. And I'm going to see what happens. Okay, perfect example. Brought a new one in. It just stacked it. It stacked this other one on bottom. But okay, so you see how that kind of goes. Um, what I've done is I've added some code here for an edit text box, and what's going to happen is. Um, right here. So what's going to happen is uh, when users I gotta get rid of this. That's what's going on. when users uh, click on the button that we created the other day this is going to appear in that, that edit text box. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to load this into our it's heading up to the emulator now. It's going to load. Let's see what happens. By the way, if anyone has any questions on any of this stuff, make sure to email me. My, my email is at the bottom of the blog, so feel free to reach out. Before I could incorporate that code, I had to add a couple of imports to this. And this is what I added. Uh, again, I could replace all this stuff with just this. But I thought I'd bring it in just, just anyway. As it because. Okay, so my emulator's loading. And I'm having problems with a screencaster today. I hope this works. But you're gonna see when the uh, application opens how it works and how it looks and everything like that. But the main difference that we talked about here is, is these are layouts you're going to use over and over again. These are the most popular layouts. It's linear versus relative. Linear, think of stacking objects on top of one each other or side by side. Relative, it defines where the object is based on the outer portions of the view or against other objects. Okay, so here it is. Program starting. Flash. Oh, there it is. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. 
Thanks for watching.